Hi, I'm Kenny, and our proposal is how cheerleading can better promote Towson athletics. First, Towson University was founded in 1866. It is a 328-acre campus located in Baltimore, or Towson. It's the second largest in Maryland with over 21,000 students and home to 21 NCAA Division I varsity teams. So, over the semester, we talked about the book Ice of the Eskimos. John Spolstra was a marketing consultant for the New Jersey Nets. And the total side note, the New Jersey Nets were one of the worst teams in the NBA. They had a losing record, they had low gate receipts, they had no superstars, and they were overall a bad product. They were overshadowed by a team close to them, the New York Knicks, and would actually have more Knicks fans at their home games than Nets fans. Like the Nets, Towson is overshadowed by an opponent, the University of Maryland, which has more students, more talent, and more money. According to Mike Hollis, Towson is not even close to Maryland's shadow yet. In our example, Towson is equal to the Nets, and we, and we believe that Towson uses jumpstart marketing, which focuses on being creative in marketing and promoting a product that nobody seems to want. Talking to Mike Hollis, we found out that Towson likes to reach out to all fans, not just Towson fans when promoting a game. Our cheerleading team is composed of 37 girls with no guys. It is not considered a varsity sport by Towson University and is considered to only be affiliated with the university and offers no scholarships. The cheerleading team is used to help build Towson's brand where promotion is their number one priority. It is, all, it is considered to be an extension of the marketing department. Recently, the cheerleading team has had success at the national level, coming in second place last year and in the top four the last three years. Despite this recent success, promotion is still their number one objective. Money seems to be the main problem with Towson cheerleading because they don't get very much. Their, their expenses are paid when they travel with football, but only 12 girls get to go on the trip. When they go to nationals, each girl must raise $1,250 themselves in order to go, and no scholarships are awarded, which makes recruiting much more difficult. Coach Pratt, the head coach for Towson Cheerleading, is not a full-time coach and is also an administrative assistant here at Towson, which hinders her ability to be a full-time coach. Our SWOT analysis for the Towson Cheerleading team. First, the strengths. We have a very good Towson cheerleading team, especially at the national level, where they've come in second place last year. It's a very talented team with no local rivals. As I said earlier, Maryland is a good cheerleading team, but we are not on the same level yet, and like Hollis said, we're not even close to being in their shadow. So locally, in the Baltimore area, we have no rivals, and we have 37 talented girls. A weakness would be that there are no guys on the team. Having guys on the team would improve performance with stronger guys being able to hold up girls and they'd be able to do more exciting maneuvers. There's also no designated practice facility. The cheerleaders currently practice in the Towson Center Arena gym, but must give up their space if any varsity team wishes to use it. Again, there are no local rivals because the University of Maryland is, does not count. They're not on the same level. And there are no scholarships. They are forced to travel far for competition, which is hard to do because of their low budget. And it, and it costs money and the Towson is not willing to spend. They must raise money to go to nationals. There's an opportunity, though, if Towson decides to recognize cheerleading as a varsity sport. As soon as Towson decides to recognize them as a sport, they are entitled to more money and a designated practice area. This would also help with more exposure. Recent games like the Towson LSU game was great for exposure for Towson and is really going to help bring people in to the school and help cheerleading. The University of Maryland is a threat to Towson cheerleading because they're a larger school with a larger program, which means larger money. Losing seasons also threat the cheerleading team because teams like basketball and football, when they don't have success, aren't good, aren't good to promote the school, which Towson cheerleading is their main objective. Now I'm going to bring in Corey, who's going to talk about our marketing objectives. All right, I'm Corey Young, and I'm going to talk about our marketing objectives for the cheerleading squad. So, um, we're looking to help the cheerleaders further promote themselves. They are extremely, extremely self-promoted. Towson University gives them hardly anything. Um, so, we want to also look to gain more support from the university 
and more importantly, from the community. And then we want to help the cheerleading squad become more active and involved both on campus with athletics, with the students, and then off campus with the surrounding community. So our target market, um, we're looking to target the Towson University students because they're the ones that have the most exposure to the cheerleaders because they're the ones going to all the games and they have classes with them and see them walk around campus. Um, we also want to target Towson University athletic administrators because, plain and simple, they're the ones with the money and we need their support in order to further promote their team. And then Towson community, if we can convince the Towson community that cheerleading is a very important part of the university as well as athletics, then that will also help us with um, our last target, which is the country, proving to the country that cheerleaders is very important to athletics and a necessary part of the campus experience. So um, cheerleading actually is not a sport product, it's a sport service. The difference between a sport product and a sport service is the sport product is created in one place and then distributed in another place. For example, cleats. Cleats are made in the factory and sold in the stores. Cheerleading Squad is a sports service. A sports service is created in one place and distributed in that same exact space. And so, for example, uh, going to, to games and when they're out there cheering or performing during halftime, that's their service and in their distribution at the same time. So, the services that they help promote are Towson basketball and their fans, Towson football and their fans. Towson University as a whole, as well as as well as well as themselves. So things that they can do to become better promoters. If we were able to get cheerleaders, more cheerleaders at games, we think that would definitely help promote the team better themselves, as well as create a better environment. Currently, um, they're only allowed to have a certain amount at a game. So, for example, 12 at a basketball game compared to the 24 that the Palm Squad has, is we don't feel like that's fair, and we feel like if there's more cheerleaders, that definitely um, help them better. More crowd interaction. Currently, the cheerleaders can't really do much but stand on the sidelines. So if they're able to, say, throw t-shirts in the stands, or maybe run up and down the stands, get the crowd more involved, that would definitely show their support for the, the game that's happening at the moment and show that they want to be more involved with the crowd as well as be more recognized um, in general. And a big thing is more community service opportunities. Currently, um, every athletic team has to do community service a certain amount of hours. If we were able to have the cheerleading team do their own community service as well as join the other teams when they go out, that would definitely, definitely help then promote themselves as well as show their support for the teams not only on the court but as well as off the court and fields and it helps it makes Towson you know, University in general look better if we have our athletes and our cheerleaders out there helping the community. And the last thing is if we were able to um, get the cheerleaders to compete in more competitions. Right now the only competition they do go to is the nationals which happens once a year. But if we were able to have them go to more regional tournaments, or competitions, I mean, or possibly host some of their own, that would definitely help them spread the, universe, the Towson University name and be, make them become more recognized in our area and then eventually nationally. So like Kenny said before, our biggest issue is funding. Um, the team receives almost nothing from the university as far as funding goes. The only thing the university provides for them is uniforms and, a, and a, uh, apparel um, that they can wear out when they're not performing. And the money that are raised, that's raised to go to nationals is completely funded by the parents as well as the fundraisers that they currently do um, around the community. So if we gave them more money, then they can go to more competitions, both nationally and region, in the regions. Um, and then they have more chances to travel with the team to away games as well as um, travel to different 
parts of the town to do more community service. And then more money also gives them uh, more opportunities to interact with the crowd, as in more t-shirts and other giveaways, and just more excitement during games. So now I'm going to hand it off to Brian, who's going to talk about our marketing proposals. I'm Brian Kilbane, and I'm going to be talking about the ideas that we've come up and the marketing proposals we have for Towson Cheerleading. Uh, our first idea, and our main idea, is a Where in Towson is Doc program. Essentially, it's the cheerleader showing up at a business, promoting that business for a few hours, and then leaving. The whole idea behind it is that it's through a social media site, and that people don't know about the deal until about an hour or so beforehand. People who follow the athletic site on Facebook or Twitter would be informed about the uh, about where the promotion is happening and the idea and the deal of what's happening. When they leave, so does the deal. Uh, the details, uh, the program would be run again through Twitter or Facebook. Uh, lots of lots of traffic on uh, social media sites. Uh, it would only occur once a week to save the cheerleaders time with their busy schedule with classes and competitions and practices. And it would target local businesses, It'd be it small mom and pop shops like uh, Uncle Wiggly's on New York Road or Target and Chipotle. Uh, we feel that this idea would be beneficial to all parties involved because it would offer an opportunity for further sponsorships and advertisements at Towson basketball games and Towson football games. It would allow more opportunities for the cheerleaders to come back to those businesses and negotiate other fundraising activities for their team. And it would also attract local customers for the businesses, even though they're running like half-off deals. It would bring in more consumers and more traffic into the business. Our second idea is to target Baltimore radio stations. Uh, among the uh, Baltimore sports talk radio stations, like 105.7 The Fan, they talk a lot about University of Maryland athletics, the basketball team, the football team, a lot of Terrapin sports. What we need to do is to get Baltimore radio stations to talk about Baltimore schools, and we need to be the premier Baltimore school. Again, uh, we would send the cheerleaders to the radio stations once a week, possibly with other athletes from our teams, to talk about recent games, upcoming games, how the season's going, other, top, uh, other topics like that. Like I said, we need to become Baltimore's college, and we need people talking about us. Once Baltimore talks about us a lot, it'll spread to D.C. and Virginia and Pennsylvania and to other states, and that would help spread Towson's image. Our third idea is for our other varsity sports. They need help recruiting. Right now, only the coaches uh, really portray the uh, Towson image during student-athletes' official NCAA visits. Um, sending cheerleaders there to help welcome the recruits, help walk them around campus, give them help on tours, ask any questions, would really help out the teams. Uh, because for student-athletes, official visits, it's all about perceived value. There are a lot, of thing, a lot of little things that aren't really important to an official visit, but give the impression that it's valued and the student athlete visiting is valued. So making a great first impression for these recruits will help bring in more talented athletes to our programs and help us be more successful, which will again improve Towson's image. In all instances for any community events or campus events that the cheerleaders go to, we feel it's important to send them along with other ticket deals for Towson Athletics, like two-for-one for basketball for home games, or something like that. This will help get more families in the community involved and help turn Towson into a more college town. We feel that the community isn't really centered around Towson, and we feel that Towson Athletics especially would benefit from the community being a lot more involved. That's our presentation. That's our proposal. In conclusion, we feel that the cheerleaders at Towson University are severely underutilized, and we're hoping to change that with our proposals. Thank you very much.